Hey there, good to see you all again. Uh, today I wanted to cover a topic about Unity and WISE integration uh, that if you haven't run into already, you probably will at some point, especially if you're working with some sort of checkout based source control system such as Perforce or Plastic. So the most common problem that I wanted to touch on that you'll probably run into and this might be why you're here in the first place is that everything seems fine when you're in development all of a sudden you go to package your Unity build and there's no sound at all. And you're puzzled, why did that happen? It seems like I had everything set up fine. And um, there's a good chance that you ran into an access violation exception. And that is because Perforce, Plastic, any other checkout based source control is going to be using a read only access modifier on your files by default, unless you check them out. So that's by design, but uh, you may run into a problem there. So I wanted to show you this little graphic here to explain how Unity by default will be set up to handle popping your wise sound banks into your final package build. This top area here is referencing my wise projects generated sound banks folder. Now, if we look here, we have all of the different platforms that we're planning to launch to. And then down here, we have the generated sound banks folder in the streaming assets folder of our Unity project. This is what's going to be actually packaged into the final build for our Unity project. Now, if you look here, it may seem kind of strange because I just have our wiseid.h file and it's meta and nothing else. And this is actually exactly how you want it to look all the time. Now, I want to explain what happens when you go to actually package a build. When it comes time to build, Unity is going to attempt to copy this folder into here. But if you already have a switch folder there, it will attempt to copy it. But because it is read only access, it cannot copy it. And so it abandons the operation. And that's where you end up with no sound at all. And so if you actually were to open up your final Unity build, you'd probably see your folder look something like this. So I wanted to cover how to properly handle this and let Unity and WISE do their thing as designed so that you can package your game as expected. You're not running into any confusion about how things work. So uh, let's start out by taking a look at Unity. So let's go to your project settings. You basically, you want to go into your WISE editor settings, wherever those are. Now, what we're interested in is our asset management fields here. Uh, so here it says sound banks path. Now that's pretty opaque. What does that mean? Now, if you hover over it, it says location of the sound banks relative to and within the streaming assets folder. Okay. It's not super helpful because all that that's telling you is where it is. It doesn't tell you what it does. Okay. Next, we have these options of copy sound bank and pre-built step. We hover over that. Basically, the only thing that we can take away from it is it's recommended to leave this checked. And the next one, generate sound banks at pre-built step. Um, recommended to leave it unchecked is the other thing. But that's the main takeaway from either of these. It's still pretty opaque about what is going on with this stuff. Now, um, just so you know, I also recommend you keep these settings. So if your settings don't look like this already, go ahead and set them up that way. Now that we've looked at that, let's look at our WISE project. So we want to go to our project settings and our sound banks. If you are generating a header file, which I suggest you do because the amount of space it takes up is basically nothing. And you can get some use out of it if you're directly referencing WISE IDs. Um, I would put that in to the streaming assets, audio generated sound banks folder in your Unity project. That's a cool place to put it. And that one is fine because all of your platforms will share that file. Anything can use it. That's great. You can put that there. Now, if you look down in your sound banks paths, you probably will think that either you need to set your sound banks folders to the Unity project uh, generated sound banks folder, or you will just manually copy it yourself. Uh, don't do that. It may seem tempting to, but don't do it. So actually you want these to stay within the WISE project 
So let's go ahead and simulate, we generate all of our sound banks. So we generated sound banks for all of our platforms here, Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, Switch, and Windows. And let's go back into Unity. So let's say you made uh, the understandable mistake of thinking that you need to bring over all of your generated sound banks folders from your WISE project, either by setting it as the output or by manually copying it like I'm about to do in order to ensure that it ends up in the build, you know that this is the build folder. So you're like, okay, well, we need our sound banks and make sure that they're here. Great. Looks nice, right? Well, let me show you uh, a problem with that. Uh, and this won't even cover what happens with your source control, but just even if you assume that wasn't a problem, here's what here's what can go wrong. So I want to build for Windows. Go ahead and build. I'll put it in builds, today's date. Here we go. So now I'm packaging up my Unity project. Great, and it succeeded. So let's have a look into the data folder, streaming assets, audio generated sound mix. Now, um, keep in mind, this is a build only for Windows. Now, if you notice in the generated sound banks folder, I have content for every platform. And uh, obviously that's not what you want because you can't use any of this sound bank data. You only want Windows. So ideally it will look like this. So how do we go about doing that? Uh, well, let me go ahead and delete all of this build. You don't want to be copying all this stuff into here. This folder, your generated sound banks folder in your streaming assets folder should stay empty. If it only has your wiseids.h or nothing, that's good. That is what you want. Now, now that this is empty and I haven't done anything to copy it over, let's see what happens when I go to build. So I've selected Windows, I click build, click on my today's date folder, let it build. Great, so let's open up our data folder, streaming assets, audio, generated sound banks, and look, now we only have the Windows sound banks. And that's how it's intended to work. And that's what I was trying to describe in my first graphic here. Okay. So let me touch on again, why this is a problem when you generate your sound banks out toward your streaming assets, audio generated sound banks folder, or if you manually copy them there. I'm not going to be able to demonstrate it in real time here because I don't have plastic or perforce installed, but this will happen to you. So let me just kind of simulate what happens when you go to make a build. So if I were using perforce, for example, this folder and everything in it would be set to read only by default, unless I check it out. So if you had at some point copied all of these files over to here, or you generated them to this location. This is what your streaming assets, audio generated sound banks folder would look like. Now, when it came time to build, what Unity is going to do is look for your current platform. So let's say you're building for Switch. It's gonna look at your WISE project, look for the Switch folder for your generated sound banks, and try to copy it into here. Now, when I do this manually, you see this pops up. And that's because there's already a bunch of data there that it needs to overwrite. Now, if this is set to read only, which it would be in Perforce or Plastic, you're going to have an access violation exception because it cannot, it has no option to overwrite these files because they're read only. So it abandons the operation. So one of two things are going to happen. Either you're going to get no data in this folder for your sound banks, or you're going to get old data. And if even if you do get the old data, you're going to be getting all of these sound bank files for all of your other platforms too. So it's just a bad situation all around. 
But instead, what you would like to happen is that this folder is empty. When you go to build, Unity will look into your Wise Projects generated soundbank folder, find the correct platform, and then try to copy it over into your generated soundbanks folder. Bam, it just works. Packages that, everything's fine. If you found something useful out of this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to see. I do have a couple other videos planned um, for some other topics, but I'm totally open to other ideas. I know it's kind of niche stuff, but um, I like to be able to help people with these kind of things. So I hope you found this useful and keep making cool games, keep making cool sounds. I'll see you next time. Take care.